Hey everybody, it's Wendy, and today I have for you a finished jewelry um, show and tell, I guess, of the August Bargain Bead Box. And so right here I have the only beads that I had left over from the August Bargain Bead Box, so there's not a huge um, amount of beads left there. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry. I could not figure out why that was sort of zoomed in. Okay. So anyway, here they are. Um, there's not a huge amount left. I didn't have any of the little John Quill um, rondelles left. I didn't have any of the big silver barrel beads left. Um, yeah, so none of the um, six millimeter picture jasper was left. So yeah, I used a whole big bunch out of this box. So I'm going to show you here what I have made. I actually was able to make three pendants or necklaces, uh, four bracelets, and three pairs of earrings. And as you can see, I could have probably made um, another couple of things, but I'm getting tired. It's 1220 here, so in the night. So I'm, I'm going to wrap it up and show you what I made. Let me just make sure that I got it all here in front of me. Okay, so first off, they included in this month's box this huge piece of picture jasper and uh, I gotta say I'm not a fan <laughs> of this big huge piece now I think the picture jasper is beautiful but not in this big huge chunk I mean and it's just like a big round or oval chunk it's beautiful itself but yeah it just I was like what in the world am I gonna do with that so someone had put in the comments about um, gluing charms onto it. So that's exactly what I did. This is the chandelier finding that was in there. Let me grab it. That's this right here. And I cut the links off of it. And then this was the sun charm, which, yeah, I do have one left here. And I cut the link or the loop off the top of it. And I just glued them both on there with E6000. I used a pinch bail on here, see that? And just hung it on some tiger tail, which I beaded up, and then attached chain. So here's the little lobster claw closure with the little bead dangle. And for what I had to work with with that thing, I think it turned out pretty good. This is just a cat's eye cabochon that matched, so I glued it on there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not overly fond of it, but I don't really care. It's just because of this thing. It's so big. It's just so big that I don't know. I just don't care for it. So anyway, that is what I did with that one. And I did make, well, I've made two or three pairs of earrings. I guess all of this stuff really can mix and match, but um, here is one pair. Um, so this pair could go with it. Um, it just uses these big silver beads. Um, this is memory wire and a messy wrap. I got this idea from um, watching a tutorial that Gina did with orchid and opal beads. So if you're interested in learning how to make that earring, you can go watch her tutorial. She has some great stuff. So that is what I made these earrings from. And they probably would work the best with this pendant. So there they are. And then... Um, in my own stash, I had this quartz or sandstone crystal, and so I took the chandelier finding, um, used these beautiful beads, Saturn beads, I think they called them, and used that. Um, beaded up a little bit on the Coriana chain, which the Coriana chain is obviously my own stash, and then um, Finished it with the lobster and a bead dangle using this is the Rollo chain that they included in the bargain bead box this time. I'm not a huge fan of Rollo chain unless it's really tiny. I like fine chains much better than thicker chains. So um, this Rollo chain really is a little thicker than what I like to use on a pendant. So I went ahead and used the Coriana chain and just beat it a little ways up. And I think it turned out really pretty. I, I like this one. So there's that, and then the earrings to go with it, um, just match the design, you know, same design as what's on the, the pendant there. 
pretty much are very similar anyway. So, whoops, we hope if I was on camera now, wouldn't it? There we go. So, those are those earrings, and that's it. Okay, so let me scoot this over. Okay, and then again in my own stash, I have this pretty piece of something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't even know where it came from, but I liked it with these beads. So I just made a bead dangle, glued a little crystal on there, um, used a pinch bail on here, and just beaded a little ways up again on the Coriana chain. And I think that thing turned out really pretty. Um, and again, a lobster claw closure with an extender and bead dangle. I always do that on my necklaces so that's how that looks i had debated gluing that down but i don't think i'm going to because i kind of like the movement and i don't i think when you put it on it'll hang just fine even though it kind of flips around when i'm playing with it here but like it flipped in the back but i don't think it'll do that once you have it on it's going to hang straight so that's that one and then the earrings to go with it which like i said these earrings whoops really could they could all mix and match but um it's the same little charm with the same crystal and the Saturn beads again, just like on this one. So I think all the earrings turned out really cute in this set. I like this. love the colors in this set, uh, this box this month. They were kind of bland. I mean, not like a lot of color, but I like the neutral. I think they're very pretty. So, um, okay, and then here is a bracelet that I made. This is just strung on tiger tail. It used some of these cube beads, which I thought were just stunning. They were beautiful. Um, and it has a toggle closure. So that's how that one works. And it can mix and match as well with all of these others. So that is that one. And I really, I like the way it turned out. I love this toggle, the sun toggle. I think it's really cute. And then I did three stretch bracelets. So... You know, these could all be worn together, they could be separated, just, you know, depends on what you like, what your taste is. So, this one has a little charm on it. Um, I use a bail a lot of times to hide the knot, and you can hook the charm on, I like that. And I also use the bigger beads here to hide the knot. And I always sew through, I use a, a big eye, I used a big eye needle on this. And some, I guess, I don't know what kind of stretch stuff it was. I don't know where I got it. Um, it may be the Opalon that Shirley has on the Budget Bee Box website. I can't, I'm not sure because it was just in a little zip, zippy bag and it wasn't labeled. So it could be that. But I always sew through the beads twice anyway. Um, so there's a double layer of that stretch because I don't trust that stretch stuff at all. I just don't. I mean, I'm so afraid of it breaking and... You know somebody being mad because their bracelet broke so i do that and then i knot it like a ton of times and then i put e6000 on top of that so i um yeah i'm really kind of leery of the stretch bracelets i'm not a big fan but i thought that these beads were great for it and it turned out really cute and i like the dangle on there so somebody could wear all three of them or they could just wear you know one of them or whatever but I've decided what I'm going to do with these bargain bead box sets because, you know, I've got the other set here that I made out of um, the new September box last night. I'm going to, when I go to the craft shows, I'm going to set up all of these things. Most of my stuff I have packaged, like on cards or whatnot, but I'm going to set all of these up on um, the velvet stands, you know, necklace stands, and just put it, I'm going to label it, um, Desert Sun Collection, and then put the gemstones, like a uh, picture jasper, and, you know, whatever the gemstones are that are in each set. I'm going to, you know, put that on there so they can, you know, see what it is, and then they can kind of pick what they want, you know, if somebody wants to buy this necklace and these earrings, they can, or if they want to buy this necklace and this bracelet, you know, they can mix and match. I'm just going to price each thing, and but have it like you know, Desert Sunset, and then like the one last night would be Flight of Fancy Set, um, and just put them all out that way. So I thought that was kind of a cool idea, um, and we'll see how that works, because 
I have a craft show coming up on the 28th, so <laughs> we'll, we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's the video. I just wanted to show this is what I made with the August um, bargain bead box. I'm kind of late getting to my um, stuff, my bargain bead box stuff, but I still have July's up there, which I think was the dragonfly. No, maybe that was the beachy one. There's the dragonfly one and there's the beachy one. And um, they're still up there, and I'm going to do jewelry on with both of those here in the next couple of days. I've started a new system with my bargain bead box. I used to just separate everything out. Like, I would put the clasps in with all of my clasps, and I would put the beads separate from each other. You know, like the gemstone beads all go in these containers over here. So I would put them all. But then I couldn't, then I couldn't remember what went with what. And so now I am just using... Um, some plastic containers that have dividers and putting all of like I put all of this August stuff together with the paper that they come with and all of the September box I had together with the paper that it came with which is smart and I should have been doing that from the beginning but I wasn't so um, I can't really pull out anything before July or June I think I have two more so yeah before June and tell you what I made from that box because I took it all, I separated all of it, which was really not wise. I don't know why I was even doing that. Um, but anyway, um, I'm not doing that now. So <laughs> I will be able to really tell you what I made from each box. <laughs> so anyway, um, those will be coming up in the next few days, the July, June and July ones. And um, I hope you enjoyed this with the August and maybe gave you some ideas. Um, if you're interested in purchasing any of these things, they are not on my website yet, obviously, because I just made them. Um, but if you're interested in them, you can let me know. You can just um, send me an email or message me. However, um, my email is, see, here's my email, Facebook, Instagram, phone number so if you're interested in any of this stuff you can uh, just give me a call or email or whatever um, but they're not up on the website yet either this one or the fly to fancy stuff that I made and put the video up for last night so anyway um, it's late I'm headed to bed Chris is already down there and probably waiting on me so um, you guys have a great night and um, I will see you in the next video bye